Well, you can smoke it, snort it, and now there's a liquid, liquid meth. And it's so potent, you can just smudge it on your finger and you get high. Just listen to what happened when some middle school girls in Texas experimented with it. Deputies say six eighth grade girls had small pieces of paper containing drops of liquid meth wrapped in tin foil. When they took it, they just started tripping out. They just started freaking out. Like something got to them. We've blurred their faces, but it's the girls' classmates who first noticed them acting strange, delirious, dizzy, and lethargic. The staff found the substance and immediately called paramedics. The girls were then sent home to their parents. If it was my child, I would be extremely upset. Galveston Sheriff says this is a new twist on a dangerous drug, and even more frightening, it can seep into a person's skin if simply touched. I'm mad. I'm really mad. I got a 13-year-old son going to school here. Parents are outraged. Girls so young caught with a drug so dangerous. The question everyone is asking now is where they get it. Great question. Those girls have been suspended while it's being investigated. Steve, where do they get it? Well, you, you know, it reminds me of the drug that was available and still available to this date, but more popular in the, the 60s and 70s with blotter acid, where they would take little stamps of Mickey Mouse's and they put a drop, drop of blotter acid on it. But it, anything that can be chemically manufactured uh, will, will, will be able to put into this type of form. So uh, it, it's out there. Uh, law enforcement has a new dealing with it, and uh, hopefully it's going to go away. And just looking at what it does to your body, I mean, your heart, your liver, your kidney, weight loss, tooth decay. And if you look at the pictures before and after, here's an example. Look at this one meth addict at age 23 versus 25. Look at the difference Good in his heaven. appearance in two years. Now, look at this one. Now, we had, a, we had another one as well of a, of a woman, 27, and three years later, it looked like her face just had melted off. Mm -hmm. I mean, the impact of meth. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, imagine now a middle schooler right. experimenting with this. You right. can't get that look back. Nope. Right. No. Nope. And, and what's even scarier is that it's not something you have to actually ingest. You know, if, oh, if yeah, someone says, well, it. I don't want it, but they put their hand on it, right. not realizing what it is, they could get it's sick just from that. Mm -hmm. And because of the addictive powers of these drugs, you know, it, it's right. constant, it's a vicious cycle. They're going to want more of it. Yeah. It's I horrible. can tell you as a parent, I'm showing my kids at some point pictures of what happens to their For bodies, sure. hoping oh, their vanity will be powerful. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. And parents, if you want to know more about meth and your kids, just go to our website, hlntv.com slash raisingamerica.